All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting today's video in Johnson's sneaker room. Do you want to do a quick little spin? There's a uh, there's a lot going on in here from the last yeah, time. Yeah, don't you guys spend too much. This yeah. is this is a mess. Yeah. Listen, first before we even get into it, we gotta fit check them. Mainly just a t-shirt because he's not even wearing shoes. But <laughs> show him show him the tee. Oh, do a well, yeah. spin. I got my strawberry jams and. I, I don't have a Glock, but I like strawberry jam. Yeah, exactly. All right, so listen, we're in the room today. Johnson does this thing every once in a while where he'll just be like, send me this amount and he'll just buy me shoes. So it's basically like a little mystery box. He's done it in the past with a couple pairs. Today, he said, uh, what was it, 220? Yeah, something like that, like 200. I don't know what I... Yeah, he, he texted me, he sent, he's like, send me 220 bucks, you know? So I did it. Which you didn't. I did. I paid you earlier today before today? I came here. <laughs> Because I didn't want you to be like, you haven't paid me yet. Because I knew you are going to do it on camera. Fair so enough. I paid you okay. before I came. And for right. the other pair. They oh, They don't right know about on. that one yet. All right. So I, I don't even know about the other pair. Yeah, you do. The SB. Oh, yeah. Fair yeah. sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're so nosy when you walk in. All right. Well, I just walked in. Johnson had uh, shoes in the kitchen. So I went and looked at them. What event was it? Do you remember? I put these in a video, right? You were you were gone at uh, um, maybe your sneakers chefs or something yes yeah, so maybe, maybe a sneaker Florida. sesh yeah. yeah these were on the one of the tables from the vendors and i told brandon i was like these are sick he said it was a tough colorway these are fire this was a good buy for two 200 actually less than 220 that you sent me so i actually owe you something back so less than 200 bucks keep the change all right <laughs> yeah, <wow. laughs> so it's got a baby blue uh, around the toe box gray on the toe box kind of like a rust pink you think rust pink that's yeah yeah a rust pink but a little more on the brown side a little less pink but the swoosh is a little more pink this reminds me of the veneers the ceramics um same quality same suede just a different colorway yeah which are all 350 to 450 dollar shoes so i think this has not released in the u.s yeah yet i don't even think people know a lot about these because when we first saw them at the show i guess they'd been out in the in europe but they hadn't actually really surfaced a whole lot here in the US. And you just mentioned for only 200 bucks when all the other pairs in that pack are in the 350, 400. Yeah. Yeah, this I is a good one. A great buy. This is a sleeper and this is a really good spring shoe. I think you could do some damage with that. All right, maybe in, maybe I'll have to wear them at uh, an event. Yeah. Do I bust them out in uh, New York? We'll be at New York Got Soul this weekend. Very excited about oh, that. There you go, bust them. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. And what's the color wearing this? It's called Fossil Rose. Fossil Rose. Yeah. Yeah. This is a really good pair. Keep your eyes out for these. Do you know when these drop in the US? Uh, they got bounced back and they're dropping on the sneakers app May 4th. May so 4th. prices will jump after that. Sweet. Because it'll be a little limited and prices will go up. So they'll be the lowest at the lowest right now. Yeah. Well, this is a good one. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments. If you guys think we need some on commonhypeaz.com, maybe I'll buy a couple off Johnson. We'll throw them in the store. That's the stack that's in there, so. Is that what it is? Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, Brandon and I haven't agreed on a price, but maybe you and I can. Yeah. We as can as the minority deal. owner, I would yeah. like to firm shake his hand. Brandon, yeah. if you're watching this and it's not okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Is where we leave it. So a new segment today, we are going to show off our favorite spring and summer shoes. Now you guys have seen the fit checks that we've done on the channel, but each of us, myself, Bryson, and Drew are gonna give you guys our favorite picks for what we would wear. It kind of fits with our personal styles as well. So something cool that I think you guys may like, it allows us to show off the store a little bit and all three of us are in store for once, which doesn't happen that often anymore just because we're back at home working on a bunch of stuff. But I did wanna remind you guys tomorrow, we'll be live on whatnot, 12 p.m. PST, we'll be selling merch, some used shoes some other sneakers myself and drew will be there so 12 p.m pst tomorrow after you're seeing this video be sure to join us on whatnot we'll be live in store and selling a bunch of stuff so they can go bookmark that right now they can go bookmark that right now bryson we'll throw a screenshot on the screen somewhere and uh with a picture of the live so you guys are notified about it and if you guys have not joined whatnot yet you guys can join in the link in the description down below for 10 bucks off one of your orders on our live so that'd be really cool anyways i'm gonna start off first now this may be a very uniform choice because everybody loves slides except for drew since drew doesn't like slides i'm a phone runner guy he is a big phone runner guy but my first pick is going to be the onyx slides and the pure slides out east i am now learning people in the east coast are freezing i forget boston's 
20 degrees right now. New York's still 40 degrees, even though in Arizona it's 95 degrees. So I understand why you guys aren't wearing slides. And I understand why slide sales have been quote unquote down recently, but there's no excuse to come spring and summer. These are gonna absolutely pop. I call these in the last investment video on the channel. So if you guys have not seen that, be sure to go check that out. But just a great everyday wear and a great house slipper too. I gotta actually pick up a pair of these black slides. Tell me how much we got these for? What? What's a, what's a size 10 gonna run me? 300, I believe. Right, I'll be swiping my card. He's so way. sick, he doesn't even give himself a discount. Yeah, I was, I'm just yeah, about to Yeah, we get a lot happened. of questions like, do you guys give discounts? Like, I don't even give myself a discount. I run everything through the register. I, I was just baffled wait, the last 30 wait. seconds. Size 10 we have for 250. Wow, I'm gonna swipe, let me get two. Yeah, uh -huh. throw two in my card, G. Commonhypeazy.com 24 seven. My next choice was gonna be foam runners, but I'm gonna let Drew do that. So that's really my my Yeezy selection. Now I could get crazy because we do have a Yeezy that I really, really like. I think I'm picking up a personal of these. I've decided, oh, no. I've decided. Oh, I am a huge 350 guy, I am. Now I had belugas, I didn't have the reflective ones, I had the non-reflective ones, but Drew absolutely tormented them. I really like the 350 zebras. I just, I'm a huge fan of it. This was the shoe that really got me into the game. This is a shoe that I missed out on a while ago, and I've always wanted this shoe since they've been reselling for 1200 bucks when they first dropped, so uh, I really like that as a summer choice. Let's get to the dunks. Right next to each other, huh? Two tones, vintage navies. Vintage navies, I personally think they're better than the vintage greens, because they don't have that glossy patent to it, and the two tones, you might ask, well, why not the Gray Fox, Brandon? Well, the two tones are not only cheaper right now, you can get them for $275 at commonhypeaz.com, but I really love the color blocking. You got the white Nike swoosh, you've got the light gray toe box, and the darker gray outer. So, big fan of this shoe. I think you can wear it with a lot of things. Bryson is even picking up a personal. So, maybe wow. this isn't Bryson's personal choice as well. An unpopular opinion since. Everybody, once a shoe bricks, people just like, oh, that shoe's not good because it, it doesn't go for much. I've picked up a personal of these and I just really enjoy this shoe. I just think the vibrant summer colors of this just really pop and I'm a, just a huge fan of it. Dude, like are you ever gonna wear anything you've been buying? Because you've bought like 10 personals in the I last have. couple months and you've worn none. You know, I'll bust them out and you guys will see them on the channel, but just know this drip doesn't come easy, all right? You see it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Brotherhood. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Another one I like, Tommy made a great point. If the suns make a big run, commonhypeaz.com 24 seven. Starfishes are suns colorways. The Syracuse dunks are suns colorways, but the purple doesn't get enough love with the suns colors. Again, if they make the playoffs and they make a huge run like they did last year, I could see these spiking and these will sell great for us in store because obviously we're in the Phoenix area. Nothing needs to be said about this shoe other than just look at it. It speaks for itself. It's a beautiful shoe. Johnson is probably sitting on 10 pairs of those in his size because he always wants a fresh pair. Now, ladies, I'm never gonna leave you girls out. And one that I really enjoy is this shoe right here. Now, I just found out that my boys got these in men's sizes. They're making these in men's sizes, so I'm not leaving the guys out either, but girls, insane. That concludes my spring and summer picks. We're gonna move on to Drew now, see what he likes, but uh, let me know what you guys think about my picks down below in the comments. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna start it off even though Brandon took every single pair in the shoe. <laughs> but listen, big fan of these, okay? Don't know exactly what they're called, but you know, I like them. The Wolf Grays, okay? The Jordan ones. Boys working on the golf swing, and the boys may be in a golf tournament at the end of the year, so I gotta start getting my swing right. It's only right that I get a pair of Nike golf shoes. Maybe even break up the bread fours if I'm feeling a little crazy, Brian. Wow. All right, because these ones have the real spikes for the real golfers, yeah. and I think I'm a real golfer. Yeah. But if you want just the regular ones, you know, you just got that nice turf bottom right there, okay? See the Chicago's in those? I did. Absolute problem. But we don't have those, so you can shop these at commonhypeasy.com, <laughs> and I even put a Jordan 1 golf section to make it easy for you guys. Wow. Yeah, I did. Right here. Okay, look, not my size. But I know the ladies out there are gonna love these. You guys all love the Air Forces. Everyone has a fresh pair of Air Forces, right? But now why not get the Paisley one? Mm -hmm. Nice hint of little black right there. You can wear them with anything. Paisley's in the summer. A lot more Paisley coming. Mm -hmm. too. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, I don't wanna. I'm kind of like thinking about you right now. Just do you, bro. The low Venice. Nice color. You can barely tell it. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but this is like a like a soft lavender. Soft lavender. Is that a good? Great. Like you can barely tell. Like you could wear these as like a white and gray shoe, and no one would know. But nice soft lavender. Nice for the ladies out there. And you guys can shop these at commonhypebz.com. Because you can also shop by your size, Bri. Wow. Go over there, I have women's, men's, grade school, and even children's. Wow. So you guys can go shop those. Try to make the shopping experience a little easy for you guys. Okay. Wasn't the first one. Wasn't the last one. But it's first in my books. Okay. The Stone Sage. <sighs> been looking for these, my size. I know you guys wanted me to get the red vermilions, but I couldn't do it. I just can't wear a red shoe, personally. These gray are pretty nice, easy wearable. You've been looking for a purse. I've been looking for the purse for this one, but everyone's taxing. I know, maybe maybe someone watching this video could help you out. 
Okay, listen, we charge 250 in store. Every kid at the last three events thought they were a store too and charged 250. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to find one. Brandon, Do they so ship the same day? They don't. Or the day Do they, after? Is their website open 24 seven? I don't think it is. With excellent customer service? I don't think so. So the so and stages, that's a good one. Foam runners are like slides. They're pretty easy to put on. I wear them to the airport all the time. A great shoe, comfortable. Doesn't make your feet sweat either. They're a pretty nice little shoe there. All right, I got you right here. This one's gonna be out there a little bit, but I like it. Been a big fan of these since we first saw them in Got Soul. Hot take. And you know what, Brian? I was thinking, three guys like us are going to Got Soul in New York this weekend. So I was like, why not? New York versus New York's. Just a really solid colorway. I really like the orange and green on these ones. Kind of wear them. Just an easy color to wear. I just really like the sole. Translucent sole, everyone doesn't like those, but I like, I'm a big fan of those. So. I like the orange. It's a, very, yeah, very that's what I'm saying. Line. It's a really good orange. You guys saw us buying these in the sneaker exit yeah. videos. I'm gonna back these. These are pretty hot and fire. Tommy said they're ass. Tommy. Sorry. Oh, give him a fit check, Tommy. Yeah. Wow, we're here. Check. You've been watching for a while. Some guy sent these in an unboxing like two months ago, and uh, Brandon said I can't wear them if I am not if I'm wearing a brick fit. So I've been looking for a shirt to match them for a while. I finally found it. So this is the fit I put together. And they're Sean Watherspoon, Jiminy Cricket uh, collabs. Jordan won UNC mids. <laughs> really love the color blocking on this one. Tom, <laughs> why don't you like it? What is there not to like about that? I don't know. Look at this. I'm a huge fan of the UNC mid, like the uh, university. With Little the black in them? No. Yes. no. Yeah. Oh, dude, dude I think that's the perfect fire. color blocking. I look at this color and it's just this blue is just so much better. Like you look at the university blues, the Jordan ones and the Hyper Royals. I'm not a huge fan of those. You look at like the coast and stuff. This blue, I don't know what it is. I just really like it. And it's not like a white. It's like almost an off white. Right? So I think that changed, yeah, a little cream. So it changes up a little bit. I don't know, I just really like these. And I bought a couple of them at uh, Sneaker Eggs. So I'll back that one. Right, I got one more. So All right. Of course it does. Dude, this shoe is so good. Also picking up a pair of these. So if you have a nine and a half that's like lightly worn and you don't want them anymore, send them to daddy. Or your, or this you is such a good shoe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're at the last guy right now. I'm not gonna lie. Not a big easy guy. I don't wear foam runners, I don't wear slides, so I wouldn't recommend any of these for my personal preference this summer. Um, but they are comfortable. It is a great summer shoe. I just personally wanna wear it, but I completely back everyone that does. Drew, you gotta show them real quick though. I busted the Polaroids out. These actually wow. dropped on the sneakers today. They, I did see that. They come with seven pairs of laces. So I threw the white ones in, um, but they literally come with all five of these colors, white and black. Pretty fire. Just thought I'd show you guys. But Wait, anyway. bro, I don't do that. What? Gotta do the whole fit if you're gonna do oh, that. Oh, I got a vintage Levi's. Shout out to more heat for them, and then a vintage NASCAR tee. And what's on the head, dude? On the fit. And the Bound by Soul nylon hat. Big fan of that one. Could call this vintage at this point. Only the real ones know about it. All right, I guess we're just gonna kind of do a little loop around the store, kind of how the boys did. I'm with Brandon on these two right here. This is automatic, two tones. I just bought a personal clip of these, um, a size run to hold and invest in. I'm probably gonna do an investment video on these soon, or at least throw them in one, go into more in depth on these. But this is a great summer shoe, guys. Um, prices are really good right now, too. As far as wearability, I think a lot of people are gonna put this to toe, which means price is gonna make it go up. Pretty simple on that one. So two tones, great shoe, vintage navies as well. I'm with Brandon on these. Can't go wrong with the vintage navy. So those are pretty simple and obvious. I'm gonna be going with these wow. as well. Miss those. Para SBs. I have a personal pair and now's the perfect time to start busting them out. I wore them the other day and it's just a great summer shoe. It's pretty neutral all around and then you just get the splash of color. I'm really big on spring colors. Like when it's springtime, I like to utilize, you know, all that random bright stuff in my closet because there's just kind of a shorter window to wear it so i think those are pretty fire shoe there's one you missed i thought you might like underneath that the unions yeah i'm not the biggest fan of the union colorway i think a lot of people are going to be wearing these this summer same vibes as the pars with the bright colors um the baby blue is just not one of my favorites to wear unless it's something that we're going to talk about over there brazil dunks Obviously, this is an older shoe. This is a pair we have in our collection that will be getting busted out over the spring this year. This is kind of a year round shoe for us. Um, we wear this one a lot, so Brazils are great. And obviously, if you guys are more of the high top, there's the Supreme. As you guys can see, the theme is pretty easy for me. I like to bust out a lot of color in spring. In the fall, in the winter, I keep everything pretty neutral, but spring is kind of when I let it out a little bit, especially with these, the concepts. I think this is actually the special package box, right? Yep. So there's two different colorways for these, but the Concepts Air Maxes are nuts. I really love this shoe. In the, all the event videos, you guys know there's a lot of B-roll and a lot of photo transition slides on this shoe. It's just a really cool shoe to look at. It's a cool shoe to photograph. And I've seen a lot of people put these to toe and I think they look really good. This one might be one I actually grab a personal of. This is a nine and a half, I kind of need a 10, but um, that's another great one. I'm totally with Drew on these. Ladies, if you're watching, this is a great shoe. If you guys don't trust us, 
just trust us. I think we get enough ladies, bro. Yeah, this one, you guys saw in the beginning of this video, I'm already putting it to toe. This is a great spring shoe. Again, this is the Fossil Rose. We have pairs loaded on the website if you guys are interested in grabbing them early. But there is a sneakers release on May 4th, I think Johnson said. So I'm looking forward to these. are already loaded up on sneakers, but if you guys want them early, can't wait. You got that spring trip coming up, all right? This is the perfect pair. This is kind of like a calmer, more toned down version of like a Para or, you know, the Union. You're still getting those spring colors, but they're just a little more muted. So I'm excited to see what I kind of can throw together for a fit. So you guys can have some inspiration on what to wear with those. Cause it is a little bit of a harder one to wear. Another pair, wow. I know it's getting a little more expensive now, but the Guavas, same with the Unions. Any of like these bright color off-white collab shoes, again, in my opinion, it's the perfect time to break them out. And then a quick intermission from the shoes. You guys know the easiest stuff to wear this summer, plain stuff. So you can let the shoes pop all the fear of god essentials we have so much of this in store um you know this is a little store promo you guys can shop all this in commonhypez.com but genuinely it really is easy stuff to wear this summer um pretty light on the cotton and everything so tons of selection of that online if you guys are interested in shopping all right and then we get to the jordan one low wall i'm with brandon on neutral grays this is pretty automatic i have a brand new pair sitting i haven't worn them yet because we're shooting a lookbook for our new clothing drop and i want to have a fresh pair for the lookbook so i've just been sitting on them and then hot take drew i think springtime is the perfect season last year you saw a lot of hyper royals being put on the toe a lot of university blues putting on a toe a lot of unc dunks the coast dunks were hot last year around this time so i think the unc sixes it's a really great shoe it sells really well surprisingly considering we don't move a lot of jordan sixes um so that's been a really good shoe moving for us and i've seen a lot of people wear them at shows so people are putting them to toe and i think they look really good i'm surprised brandon didn't touch on sakai's because sakai's are a great spring shoe there's a lot of sneakers that just kind of look bad with like a low cut sock or a no-show sock Sakai's are one of the ones you can get away with it. It's a great spring shoe. You see a lot of people walking around these kind of casually and it's really comfortable. So when you are out walking around on vacation, doing whatever you're doing, Sakai's always seem to do really well. Um, but as far as more recent stuff that has dropped, I'm 100,000% behind Brandon on these. I think everyone here at the store really thinks that these are gonna do well. It's a fire shoe. The little Kermit the Frogs can't go wrong with these. I'm excited to see when there's more pairs available of these because right now we have early pairs. These haven't been released yet um, in the US. So I'm excited to see how people kind of take the uh, outfits with these because you can kind of go anywhere. Just please don't bust out an all green fit. I, I really, I wouldn't mm -hmm. get behind that. So I bought these last year early before they even released and I wore them one time. I actually wore them to Boston Got Soul and then I never wore them again after. They've literally just been sitting there. But it is really good shoe. I just don't find a lot of wear out of it. Right now with my collection, I'm gonna be selling a bunch of stuff and probably gonna do a little live on whatnot to clear out um, some of my closets. So I know a lot of you guys will be interested in that. So I'll keep you guys updated or let me know in the comments if that's something you guys wanna see. But I'm gonna be getting rid of a bunch of stuff and really just try and focus on stuff I'll actually wear because a lot of these shoes just kind of sit in my room. Um, but everything I kind of pointed out I stand behind because I actually have them in my personal collection. You guys are going to be seeing me wearing them um, pretty frequently this summer. And to close it off, Drew, I mean, you might as well, right? Not just in Air Force, though. Yeah. It's pre Air Force. I have the regular ones, Brian. I'm not that guy. You're not that guy. But you but could you be could that guy. Be that guy. God, Drew. we think way too like. Took the words right out of my mouth. We finish each other's sentences. Sandwiches. It's all right. All right. Tons of other selection you guys have seen all around the store. If you guys want a little more in depth of our inventory, you know where to go. CommonHypeAZ.com. At any point in the day, any point in the night, any point in the week or the month or the year, you guys can shop because that's 24 seven. You guys have access to commonhypeasy.com. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I know it was a quick one, but we got a lot of inventory in store right now. And although we're trying to sell it, we do wanna show you guys um, some of our honest feedback on what we think is gonna move all this summer and hopefully give you guys, you know, a couple investment advice such as the two tones. But there's a lot of inventory here, our front table there, is overflown as you guys can see there's not a lot of room on the shelves but we're getting ready to move into our new location i can tell you guys that we have signed on the building and we're going to be filming every process every step through until the doors are open um, we're just not going to show it all at one time we're kind of going to put something together for you guys for when it opens so i'm really excited for that video um, coming in the future it's going to be an awesome video to edit and really show you guys the journey for those of you guys who have been with us for the last year and a half two years you guys have seen everything um, kind of that we've done since the get-go and if you guys are new to the channel you guys can go back to the old videos and kind of watch to see how we got here today but we do appreciate all the support again shop everything you guys saw today comment hype ac Com. And make sure you guys follow the Instagram before you head out because we might just do an Easter sale on Saturday. We're going to be closed Sunday for Easter, but on Saturday we might throw something online for you guys to do and uh, some deals available in store. So make sure you stay tuned for that on Instagram at Common Hype AZ. But we thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next video.